Hello everyone, I'm High Treason. Welcome back to Let's Play The Long Drive. This is part 74. 74. And, uh, well, we're driving a car. I oh, know, we would never know we'd do that in this game. Who would have fucking thought? Mm hmm. It's a bit of a fucking uh, rush box. It's doing better. You know, it's another 2101. We didn't have, like, any choice at all. I was going to say we didn't have much, but we had none, actually. <laughs> this was all there was, so... Uh, did you know mirrors can reflect mirrors in this game? Yeah, so it's actually really hard to get them at an angle where you can see it, so I don't know if we'll be doing that. But yeah, it's a thing you can do, so... Hmm, I don't know. A lot of games you can't do that. Oh, fucking night time. Of course it's fucking night time. Fuck you. Hmm. As always, we have about 45 minutes to do at least, at least 50k. It'd be nice if we could do a bit more. That's a, a workshop. Yeah. I won't go to it. I'll miss it. <coughs> Probably go to it on the way home when we're, we're driving the other way. God knows how far away that'll be. I probably will wait until the game has another update, but on the other end it'll probably update the day I get to the end of the road, so... <laughs> but I'll still wait longer than that. You know, it's not something I'll do immediately. I'd like a break. I'm still enjoying myself, but I think if I had to do like another 500, uh, 5,000 kilometers immediately after this, I think I might start wearing my patience a bit thin. Especially as it will be harder going back. We don't drive at night, as you know, just because I don't think it's worth seeing for you. You can't see shit once it's been YouTube. YouTubed. Uh, it gets a bit too dark. I mean, I can't see a lot at night, but you really can't see a lot, so... And as we're not having overheating issues, there really is no reason for me to, like, sleep, uh, stay awake all night in the game. You know, it just makes life a bit harder, is all. And there's really no need for it. We'll have a quick look, see if we can find any brushes or anything. I'd like to get this car cleaned up. There may be jizz in here that we can use, or something. <coughs> As it stands at the moment, the car's not in amazing shape or anything. But we do need oil, if we can find some of that. That's gas. We'll probably pull that in. That's alcohol, that's no use to me. Get that out of you. This is empty, can't pull that in. So, a sun visor is in better shape than ours. <coughs> I should have just parked closer. Yeah, the gas will uh, throw that over. Well, that was not very impressive. That's alcohol. See, radiators and stuff sometimes have things in them. Oh, that's full of oil. There you go, we can uh, send that over the car there. Ugh. Well, that actually went quite far. Uh, I don't see any any jizz or like steel brushes or anything. I'm not going to look very hard. Just because uh, I don't, you know, I'm not in a rush. It's not like this is super as That wheel's better than... Uh, in our wheels, so we will take it. Yeah, here's the thing you can do, see. I know we've seen it done before, but I always like to remind you of these things, just in case you forget. Okay, so this serves on the uh, cleaning products a little bit. Because the alien babes are going to need those when we, we're done with them and we just send them off to the kitchens. And that's that's what you do with uh, alien birds. Once they've served their purpose to you, send them to the kitchen. They're not used to you now. Uh, what rights do they have? They're aliens, they're not humans. Therefore, they're not entitled to human rights. 
oh yeah, you was all fucking laughing me earlier, oh, you know, it's, uh, I can't actually remember where I was going with that. But probably something, and whatever it was, I'm the one who's laughing now. There you go, plenty of fuel. We'll uh, pour some oil in that fucking hell. We really didn't have a lot of that at all. That car should be a bit more responsive now. And maybe I'll be more responsible. <laughs> yeah, right. It's not quite Mr. Blobby coloured, this one, is it? It's not a very nice colour. It's like nipple coloured. At least my nipples are kind of... Mine are actually a little bit different. Like one nipple's paler than the other. I guess they're a bit of an afterthought. You know, me being male and all. They're not really very useful to me. They're just sort of a leftover. Kind of fun to play with sometimes, but... Mostly they're just forgotten about unless I snag them on something sharp and then it hurts a lot. And I think if you cut them they bleed a lot as well, so that's not real good. There's one thing that gets me is like medication I, I've been on before tells you like it can cause you to secrete breast milk like when you're male and I'm like how? Like surely I don't have the, the glands to do that? <laughs> Bloody hurt not. Oh no way! That rock was tiny. I mean damn, can you imagine how minging milk would taste that came out of me? <laughs> you know <laughs> I would try a little bit, just out of curiosity. But I mean it it would surely be pretty horrible. It'd taste like cigarette ends or something. I bet you'd think. I mean, uh, I've been told my pee tastes like cigarette ends, so, you know, I would imagine, like, any other secretion out of me would taste like cigarette ends. What's, oh, it's our radio. I thought it was one of the sun visors. Okay, can we stop it with the auto serving now? There we go. That is going to be hassling us the whole way whenever we're not in the car now. I mean, see, it's because he starts eating every time. Like, we're in an important moment. He's like, no, I'm going to eat. And so he breaks out a sachet of tomato ketchup. And then what do you know? He fucking crashes and it spills all over the fucking car. You're an Egypt driver. You do know that, right? Right, let's get out of here before the fucking rabbits get mad at us or something. I hope nothing else fell off. I thought I saw something on the road. It doesn't look like it. If something did, it wasn't important. I can't believe the engine fell out. But that rock looked small. That's why I just tried to hit it dead on, because I was like, oh, that'll just... It might bounce us a little bit, but... You know, I would have swerved if I'd tried to avoid it, so... There wasn't much we could do, because we were coming off of another one. Human milk, weird stuff, uh, I would think, you know. It's just strange. Which is odd when you think about it, you know. Pe people would be averse to, to consuming human milk, but not averse to consuming milk from a completely different animal. When in reality, it's probably much more natural to drink human milk from women, of course. You don't want to drink it from a guy, would you? It'd just be a bit weird. But, well, I'm sure someone would want to. Tiny little rabbit. I mentioned before that you start seeing much smaller rabbits at these distances. So by the time we get to the end, we might be seeing little teensy tiny ones. And I think it's a bug. I don't think it's intentional. I don't actually know why it happens. But I don't think it's by design.
Yeah, the Mercers, we've never driven out to one. And we will do it at some point, but probably... Probably once we've got to the end of the road. If it doesn't end in a desert with Mercers, I'll just load an old save and drive to one just to show you that there's not really much there. I think guns used to spawn on them sometimes, if you used to climb about on them. But I don't think it does that anymore. Is that a boat over there? We might go to that. We, we just might. I mean, there's not really any reason not to. We're actually making pretty good time. And if it's not too far away, you know, it might have a load of gasoline in it. And we, we could, you know, I do like to fill the tank up. And yeah, my car's pulling right a bit. I think it's because the wheels are mismatched now. So we'll have to clean another one up. We could sponge it clean, I would think. So, uh, sponges are pretty common, so it's a thing we might do. Okay, well I guess we'll break off the road here and just start heading for the boat. Slow down, because it's actually quite hard to uh, see like variations in the height of this terrain. Just because it's so bright. It might not be that way for you, because, you know, as we know, things appear a bit darker on YouTube. It really depends on the uh, codec you used. So, you know, it's, uh, it might look a bit, a bit more, sort of, the colours sort of get crushed up. It's as if it turns the, the gamma down and ramps the contrast when I upload to YouTube. Not too hard, but certainly noticeable. The thing is, I, I don't bother correcting for it because YouTube changes over time and, you know, it's done other things over the years to where it's just like, I'm not going to fix this because as soon as I fix it, they'll probably change the way the, the back end handles everything again and my fixes will have been for nothing. So this is convenient, the boat points towards the road. So we really don't have to think about it. It's leaning the opposite way to what I thought it was, but the bow is pointing towards the road. It's farther out than I thought it was. But I mean, we're, we're committed now, so... Might as well just... We actually haven't done as much distance as I thought we had when I looked down before. It's alright, we're still doing enough distance. We're still on track. This isn't going to be the part where you do serious distance. We probably are going to be stuck with this car for a long time. You do realise that. I mean, I know it's another 2101, but as you know, it's it's what we found. We can't dictate what the game spawns from. Well, we actually could if we save the game just out of range of the building loaded and kept reloading it and going into, you know, the building's load zone. Like it would actually spawn different things each time. So you could just do that until you got what you wanted. Even with the item duplication fix, it, it won't stop that happening. So you could totally cheat the system. It'd be quite a slow and annoying process. And you know full well my approach is that we just go with what we're given. I, don't, I can't be bothered doing that. I did it a little bit when I went to the end of the road on my own and to be honest, there's a few times throughout this where I might have done it if I was playing on my own and not dragging you along for the journey with me, but, you know, just for the fact that this is a series on the internet, I like to stay moving as much as possible. And so that means that certain things with that 16% gas, that uh, oil, that gas mix, that would... That would do us. The car would run fine on it. That would remove practically none of the power. Give me the power of the light. Very strange song there. Fuck's sake. They're not easy to push these barrels sometimes. We are the ones who are the crown. You are the ones who are fading away. We are the ones who move the crowd so you can dance the night away. I 
can't sing it without shit. It's a, a Melanie Thornton song, so uh, yeah. it's a bit out of my vocal range. <laughs> I can't can't sing that sort of stuff. Come on, you bastard! Ah, there we go. That's what we want. We should have just gone this way. It's always early on in the opposite direction to where we fucking went. It doesn't matter. I do not care. Alright, uh, let's pour this in here. And then we'll probably never have to worry about this again for the whole time we have this car now. Why is it moving? I just saw skids on the wheels. Get your bastard, get in there. There's a really funnel object, we could speed this up. I heard rumours once that the dev was planning to put a means of separating fluids like in. I don't know how that would work. Would have been like a glass container or something. I really don't know. I couldn't begin to guess. Leave that there. And then if we come back here someday and need a gas, well, then there'll be some gas for us to use. Right, that's the star, so we want to be facing over this way. And there we go, back to the road. It might take a while. We are actually quite a long way out here. You know that doesn't scar me. Ah, oh, there's the road. I think it's actually visible. We were at a very shallow angle to it when we were going out to the boat, you know, we were practically running parallel to it because we just continued on westward from where we were, so I guess that figures. That was a quicker way of doing it though, what we did, I, I, I believe. Okay, we're back on the road, we have just under a half hour to do 32k, that should be not really all that difficult, assuming we don't smash the car up. It's very bright here though, so... Probably coming up on another night cycle, to be honest. Yeah, there's your crickets. See, I, I know, it's like, you know, my body clock is tuned to the game now. Been playing it that long. Sadly, my brain's been out in this desert, but... Uh, my brains are still switched on, they're still going. Look, we're knocking it out. We should be past 4300 by the end of this one. So yeah, really 700-800k to go, most likely. At most, until we're at the end of the road, but it, like I say, it could be longer. There are roads that are abnormally long and there's no way to know if you've got one until you just drive out. That's all you can do is drive to the end to find out how long it is. And even then you don't get a totally accurate number, but you get close enough. I like say we might have a short one, it might be that 200 kilometers from now, the road just goes and just stops. Well, we get to see what's at the end. Don't expect there'll be like big parties or anything. You know the drill bar now. There we go. 4-4? Four, four. No, that's a horrible fucking time signature. It's boring. Everything's in 4-4. Four, four. I can't write in 3-4. It's all waltzy and stuff. Masquerade Waltz, that's going to be my song if I ever become a, a murderer. That's what I want to listen to, like what I'm doing the murdering. 
and then I'll like you know be singing when I'm doing the cleanups you know saw your hands off saw your hands off saw your legs off saw your arms off <laughs> Best with a work, you make it a mistake, I'll throw you in a lake. <laughs> I know there's a lot of people who think Walt says like a sinister vibe of that was lucky. There's a lot of people who think Walt says a bit of a sinister undertone, they can totally see their point. It's great for getting in stereo wars with the because you'll always win if you play that sort of music. It's fucking loud. Uh, Eugene Durga, my sweet and tender beast. That's a that's a very loud one. Like, you know, it's the, I like that one because it starts quiet. You have like all this soft. <laughs> Like early on, and then after about a minute, it just fucking hits really hard. <laughs> uh, number two waltz. Oh, who was that by? Fuck, I always fail to remember. But yeah, number two waltz. That, that just always. That's been used in like loads of films and shit, maybe a little bit too much, but. That was just makes me think of like Russian Mafia or something, you know. <laughs> that one. Like, you know, I just imagine all these blokes in black cars showing up. Get in, comrade. We need to go for a little drive. Don't worry, you won't be needing your coat. I haven't finished paying for my cigarettes. I don't think you need to worry about paying for cigarettes now, comrade. Get into a vehicle. We take a little drive and solve problems. <laughs> Car vanishes around the corner. You just hit pew, pew, and you just never heard from again. You know. <laughs> Yeah, it'd fit those people time enough. <laughs> people do look at you a bit funny when you're, you're playing waltz as well, like, but, you know, they do sort of get that, is he a psychopath kind of, like, you get that more with uh, classical piano music. You know, if you, you start listening to, like, Friends List or something, you know, <laughs> you're just fucking uh, sat listening to that, and that's when people look at you like, I'm pretty certain he's killed somebody before. <laughs> so, well, kill lots of people in video games, if that counts. <laughs> killed lots of people's hopes and dreams, if that counts, including my own. Sometimes you have to when you realise you, you're not going to, you know, you should always have dreams and aspirations, even when you know they're unrealistic, you should have a few, just because it's fun to, to dream and aspire to something, even if you know it's never going to happen. It's just nice to sit there sometimes and imagine, like, what if, you know. Like, if I was, like, infinitely rich, what would I do, for example? I like to think of that sometimes. I think everyone does, you know. I mean, I don't know what you'd do. You could tell me if you want to. I'll tell you what I'd do. I'd buy an island somewhere, right? And then I would go to Japan, and I would hire, like, four Japanese women to come to my island and live on it with me. And they're really just glorified hookers, I suppose. But then, here's the... For fuck's sake, I didn't even hit that. There's a problem though, like, Japanese girls, they probably have a decent amount of self-respect and so, you know, they're going to get a bit sick of me after a while. I'll be like, well, this western man, it hurts me when he's ramming his cock in and out of me all the time and 
you know, he is a bit mean to us sometimes. Like, you know, I wouldn't be real horrible, I'd just kind of wind him up a bit, but like, well, he is a bit mean sometimes, you know. Mr. 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 Bean, is it true that you're so mean? But, uh, yeah, obviously, like, I have to incentivize him to stay there somehow, and so, well, my fix for that would be I would go to China, and I would go out to, like, rural farmlandy China. Yeah, that fixed it. And uh, I would just purchase myself a, a Chinese lady. Because <laughs> they don't want them, do they? Like, you know, they don't want daughters, like, in that part of China. So I would go and uh, get this China lady and, you know, it'd be in the contract I'd sign with her, like, hey, you know, I, I can't, like, harm you or nothing. You know, that's not the intention, but we are going to be a little bit cruel to you sometimes, you know, we'll turn the hot water off when you're taking a shower or something. As you probably like this, like, oh, I get shower whenever I feel like it on your island. Yeah, sure. You get as many showers as you want. Watch television, eat whatever food you want to eat. You know, I've got infinite money, like, so it's not a problem, you can just have this stuff. And then, like, you know, she's probably going to sign this contract, their family will be glad to get rid of her, like, oh, you buy a daughter, now we can have another son! <laughs> like, yeah, sure, no problem. And now I fly her back to my island, and what I haven't told her is that, you know, the contract says I can't do nasty things to her. It doesn't say anything about the Japanese girls, and they hate the Chinese. So then when they're thinking of leaving the island, like, they're going to remember this. I've lost that wing mirror, it's nowhere to be seen, I'm not going to faff about looking for it. So I'll use them. I knew it was going to come off, like, you know, when it was rusty, as well. I wanted to get it cleaned up. <coughs> so they might be sat there thinking about this, you know, oh, well, that western guy is a bit of a jerk. Might just go back to Japan. On the other end, if I do go back to Nihon, then I can't just beat up a Chinese whenever I feel like it, and they'll just go and beat her up, you know? <laughs> of course, I'd have to come and stop it, but... Yeah, I think they probably would be quite cruel, though. That's the problem. I had to watch it just to make sure they didn't go too far. I mean, if they're just verbally berating her or something, it's probably enough of an incentive to keep them on the island. The thing is, I think when they inevitably run out of money, like, the Japanese ladies would just go back to Japan and probably make lots of money writing a book about what an asshole I am. The China girl I probably wouldn't be able to get rid of. Like, she'd probably actually like it, you know. She'd be there like, Well, he cruel, but he much better than life in China. You know? I like it here. As you cry, you know, I come in and, like, give her a gift just to take it off her or something. No, you've disobeyed me, I'm taking this away. It's my own thing, my pants are nowhere. Only for, like, uh, me to leave the room and immediately she's just like, Oh, I saw Rocket to have such a ruthless master. He broke my things, you know. <laughs> just has some little shrine devoted to me, hidden away on the island somewhere. It comes like going home time, like, you know, I'm like, I've got no money, I've got to fuck off back to England. Yeah, I can't even be mean to you anymore, I'm just going to have to send you back to uh, China, I'm afraid. And she'd just turn up, like, on my boat when I'm halfway home, like, just begging me, like, please, punish me, <laughs> like, I did bad, I disobeyed. <laughs> That's not how it works. Fine, you can come back with me. But only as long as anyone asks, you tell them you're Japanese, because the, the British people are just about silly enough to, you know, not realise that that isn't the case. They will more than likely think you are Japanese if you tell them you are. <laughs> Could try it, you know. Well, tires are actually pretty good at it. I think they might be better than my tires, you know. I'm glad I came here. Yeah, I don't think the wheels are better, but the, the tires. Man, them's good fucking tires. Look at them. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Oh, we're having that. I mean, it's not perfect or nothing, but definitely looks a bit better than my ones. Yeah, that one's pretty good as well. 
Maybe they're about the same. I'm not sure actually. I mean, that one's definitely in good shape. Yeah, it was worth coming here, you know. Again, they launched that really far this time. Got my car stopped then, but it was just the uh, audio system being weird. Yeah, they're about the same. Yeah, they're all about the same. Oh, I think these are better than my tyres, you know. I think they're, they're just as good as my tyres. My tyres are not perfect. Do any of mine look uh, crusty? That one looks better than the rest, but these don't look any better than my ones. I'm tempted to use part of that sponge just to bring that one dodgy wheel right up to spec. So we have one wheel that isn't chromed. There you go. Do that. Mr. 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 B. Is it true that you're so mean? Yes, mate. I didn't write the fucking song. Okay, here we go. Are we on the wrong side here? It's true. I think they're just drawing it through under the road. God, we've got our hubcaps at least. Yeah, I don't care too much about mirrors. I like having the car complete. It's not vital as long as it's operating. Right, let's keep going. We've got a little while left. But yeah, you know, that'd be the thing I'd be stuck with this China lady. Plus the fact, you know, I probably would have gone back to China and like paid our family loads of money to film a thing like where a helicopter would show up and like start shoosting them and everything like you know they pretend to keel over and I always picture like you know in the last scene you'd see our dad who's supposedly been shot like five minutes ago stood in the background having a cigarette <laughs> it's like it's showing like all the farmland torn up and everything it's like oh no government take over whole farm and kill family now China girl never will be able to go back to China. I just picture her looking at me. You show me a movie like this two months ago. What? No, no, that was a different one. Ah, you saw my family already been killed. Uh, well, they've been killed again, so you can never go back to China now. <laughs> and I have lots of karaoke machines all over the island because karaoke is fun and plus the fact that it just devalues the neighbouring islands you know they used to cost more and they're, they're trying to sell them off because they hate being on an island next to mine and they're telling like you know the potential buyers oh yeah it's very peaceful on these tropical islands they just it's broken your eyes just coming out like <laughs> oh I don't know what that noise is sounds like they must be doing karaoke I've never heard that before <laughs> Now it'd be more fun to give uh, Japanese girls English songs to sing, like fully English songs, just because it would sound just a total fucking mess. Because I don't think I'd bother like teaching them English. I'd probably just learn Japanese because it's more efficient if I just do that once and having to have four of them learn a different language. Yeah, that can be could be quite entertaining. <laughs> And I'd have a statue built right in the middle of the island of me. But I'd fill it with asbestos and like depleted uranium. <laughs> so when I'm gone, like if someone's like, Oh, what an awful statue, I'm going to have it torn down. And they start taking angle grinders to it. Then uh, little do they know they're getting asbestosis and radiation poisoning the whole time. Teach them to turn my fucking statue down. Bastards. That's mine, that should stay there forever. Is this just a little poxy... Oh, it's a workshop. Yeah, should we have a quick look in it? Well, we've done our target distance with 10 minutes to go, so I say we have a quick look in here. See what we can find. 
I found it. Another fucking night cycle. I swear they used to only get one or two. Ah, come on, I don't have all day for your auto saving shenanigans. Get! Hup. Yaw, mule. Yaw. That's another thing I would do. I, I like donkeys. I think donkeys are awesome. I would never be mean to one. Like, I'm just not cruel to animals in general, but yeah, I'd certainly never be mean to donkeys. I just couldn't ever bring myself to do it, you know. <laughs> But the general public doesn't need to know that. So I would pay some like sculptor, like to make like out of polystyrene, like make it look like a load of scrap iron, and uh, put it on a little cart, and then uh, have the donkey pull the cart and teach the donkey like Jamuel, ja! <laughs> Is basically good donkey. I'm going to give you a treat in a minute, donkey. Well done. Don't move. Just stay there. <laughs> And then, like, take it on a public road and just be yelling at it, you know, Yeah, donkey! Yeah! Yeah, mule! Yeah! And people would be starring, oh, he's being cruel to the donkey, he's overloading it, just to see how long it'd take for, like, fucking RSPCA or whatever to show up. But like, what? That's one of the donkey's commands. It means wait, you know? <laughs> I thought that's what you were supposed to teach them, Hyar What do you mean, Hyar means good? Oh, well, it doesn't to my donkey. Look, it's a happy little donkey. It would, it would be like the most spoiled donkey on the planet. Like, you know, with everything it ever wanted, and then some. But yeah, people would think I was been rotten to it. You know, he's back at it, pull all them broken washing machines or whatever the sculpture looks like. Who's gonna break the donkey? Donkey's in a, he's having a great day, the donkey. Like, he thinks he's fucking brilliant. He's getting all this attention, I keep giving him fucking goodies, you know. Yeah, donkey, have another carrot, you bastard. There you go, you chew that down. I'm gonna get you back home soon, we'll, we'll get you to your garly donkeys. I've bought you like fucking loads of them or something. I fucking know. Little donkey, little donkey with a crusty bum. Oh, I wish it could be Christmas every day. And that stupid donkey's gonna have to pay. Cause it's gonna get took out the back and bread. So let the donkeys die for Christmas. It was uh, when we used to sing the silly words to songs in school. We always, every Christmas, we just used to beat up on the donkey to no end. I mean, like I said, I like donkeys. I would never hurt one. I, I, I think they're awesome things, donkeys. I just could not be mean to one. I think even if I tried, I just wouldn't be able to bring myself to do it. But... Uh, it keeps giving us these little gas stations off to the right for some reason. I was wondering if the building spawning's broken at this point. It's probably just a coincidence. But, uh, with three brackets around it. <laughs> no. But, uh, yeah, every year we had to do, like, art stuff. And, uh, we always did the donkey, didn't, like, run over and kicked and set fire to or whatever. Cause, just because we knew it would upset people. And so... The last year I was in that school, they're like, No cruelty to donkeys. This will be going on board in the hall, and I don't want a single bit of it. like, ah, oh, no. But I used a trick that I, I'd known about, like that I did in my first year at school, where I always put fires on my artwork, and they told me not to, so I did this arts and craftsy thing with cardboard, and stuck a house over the fire. And I still have that piece of schoolwork, and the teachers didn't know there was fire there. I do. And so, basically, me and my mates are like, fucking, now what are we going to do? And I'm like, I don't know how to get around this problem, lads. What we're going to do is, nah, it's not a road, but he's going to do this. We're going to do I did this years ago. And so, we did that. It went up in the hall. We went in, tore all the crafty shit off. And it was just the, an even larger mass of donkeys been fucking murderized. 
and abuse the other. You know, they have like the, the baby Jesus pulling its tail, you know. <laughs> that it been smashed off the head with hammers. That it been dragged on the chain behind a bus or something, you know. Sound engine. I'm not outside the car, buddy. You can stop doing that now. There you go. It took about ages to notice, like, what we'd done. And I goes, like, but we didn't put, like, dead donkeys there. <laughs> it was checked by the school, and, you know, if there was any there, you know, you would have seen it. Somebody must have vandalised it, sir. <laughs> it was too late then, it was already up, so there wasn't really much they could do. And so every assembly we went into, it was right there, in the middle of the, the wall at the back of the hall for everyone to look at these these dying uh, agonized donkeys poor donkeys <laughs> oh, so I really don't find animal cruelty funny in real life I actually fucking hate it it's one one of the few things I'll hit somebody for if they haven't hit me fast but when it's not real, it's like anything when it's not real, it can actually be funny just because of how stupid it is. You know, it's it's something so ridiculous and so awful. You know, that's that's kind of the, the point. It's like morbid, dark fucking humour, isn't it? And we just thought it was funny, like as it was mostly for the way other people react. Oh that's cruel. <laughs> yeah, shut up. Ah, uh, we got a new song anywhere this time. <laughs> I mean, even the way the manger got it, the donkey is dying, it's dead on the floor. <laughs> they have about three minutes left, but I'm, I'm banking on finding another building. I probably won't. So I'm probably going to be dumping you in the desert again. But I really, really just want to make progress. We have a lot to make up for. And I'm going to take advantage of this flat desert for the next, like, two minutes now. Kill the donkeys. Da -da 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 -da. The donkey died in his sleep. <laughs> I remember on the artwork, like one of my mates, he put loads of work into it because he actually had like this slaughterhouse thing going on where he had like donkeys going up a belt into a machine. <laughs> and then there was just donkey tails like coming out the other side or something. All, uh, all the all the guts and stuff were just been poured into like these bins, like on wheels. <laughs> it was fucking horrible. It really was. It was horrible. There was a point, like I say, it was just to like bother other people. Yeah, shit. We're never gonna find another building in time. I'm gonna be dumping you in the desert, aren't I? We're 20k over target though, so <laughs> we're doing it again. Even in this slightly knackered up car, we're doing it again. Any second now, I'm going to run out of time and I'm just going to have to stop. Is that a building? It is. Right, that's where we're going to stop. It's off the beaten track. You see, the spawning does get fucking weird out here, doesn't it? Still, here we go. Stay well clear of it, because we don't know what it's going to do when we reload the game. It could do fucking anything. Am I treason? Thanks for watching. I uh, will see you in the next one. Oh, just in time as well. It's 7-2 now, weren't it? Because we're on part 7-4 and it's two behind. Jingle bells, Batman smiles, Robin flew away, Uncle Billy lost his willy on the motorway. 4339.
yeah that's pretty good going if I do say so myself. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next one.